Hi, my name is Rishka Akhri and I'm 23 years old and today I will be explaining two theories that I have chosen for this reflection blog. Now, what is this blog about? Well, um, so I'm currently doing my diploma in mass communication and there is this subject called media criticism and in that subject, we learn about that. the various theories that uh, that can be seen in media right and in our lives and culture and all that so um so i've picked two theories and the theories that i picked uh, are psychoanalysis theory and also feminist criticism now psychoanalysis what is it about so it's basically a method of investigating your unconscious mind right and also what it leads to especially your behavior and how it how it impacts you and how it affects you um and feminism theory is basically you know equal opportunity for both men and women right and why did i choose these theories well i'm very much interested in anything got to do with psychology and uh, psychoanalysis is something very very interesting scary but interesting and uh, yeah i i really want to understand more about you know the unconscious mind and the behaviors that lead to that and why we do certain things and why do we say certain things and why do we even think certain things right and uh, yeah and for feminism theory well because it's something i believe in i realized after taking this class that there's actually so much that i need to learn and uh, it's 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 a good thing it's a good thing now after learning the theory it's, it's different before it was just like i thought i knew these things but because you see it in movies and stuff like that but you don't you just you just don't there's just so much to learn about psychoanalysis and how much it affects you especially your behaviors and why you do certain things and also for feminism theory where you know when you read a book or you watch a movie or even a song there's actually so much meaning behind that of especially who did that who created that right and for psychoanalysis it's basically learning so much about how and why we do certain things and say certain things and it's not just about that there's so many other things uh as attached to it of course but these are the things that really really affected how i think and see now i'm more conscious about it after learning it hi so i've got my pan mi i've got my coffee and i'm about to have a feast um i don't think it would be appropriate for the camera Um so I've got some work done and now uh it's my resting time so that's why I'm on my bed. Well, going back to the question, what do I think about it now? Well, whenever I watch a movie right now, it's never going to be the same. I'm always analyzing um the movies that I want to watch or have already watched. And there are so many movies that I actually want to go back and do more research about it. You know, for example, the male gaze, right? the male gaze it's like from a director's perspective if he happens to be a guy we're going to see how his perspective is like why did he choose to add certain scenes inside or why did he cho- why did he choose to um direct it in a certain way and why what are the moti- mo- motivations behind it right and uh, it's it's quite interesting it's very different the male gaze and the female gaze you know catering to the male audience and catering to the female audience and um, often times the i realized that the female perspective of of uh, direction is not as popular um than someone who is directing a woman especially if it's uh, a guy and um 
this 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 something interesting that I've learned in class. So I'm gonna share some something about myself. So I do this thing, and before learning about this theory, I I just thought that you know it, it, nothing, it's nothing, um, it's just something that I do. But after learning the theory, I realized that this is something I want to know more about it. So I like to be constantly surrounded by books. Now, it may be weird for a lot of people, but um, well, I like to be surrounded by books because it gives me comfort, and uh, you know, it's just something that I've always. It's just part of me, and uh, well, right now I want to learn more about it because I don't know what's going on in my unconscious mind. Uh, am I scared? Sure, sure, but do I want to know? Yeah, I want to know why. Um, but I gotta find out. So how these are the few things, how it has affected me. Let's talk about how, based on my observation, how has other people around me, how are they affected by this theory? Well, I have a younger brother. I talk to him a lot. I like having conversations with him. So I have talked to him about this, and we realized when when I was having a conversation here with him, we realized that uh, a lot of people are unaware of their thoughts and action, and uh, you know, and my brother also thanked me for um, you know explaining to him what the feminism theory is all about, and we had a really good conversation about it. Yeah, you know, moving forward, I think that. I need to start learning and understanding why I choose to say certain things. Why am I having certain thoughts before completely accepting them? You know, basically reevaluating my beliefs, my thoughts, my opinions, and analyzing how I feel about certain movies I watch, certain books I read. Why do I choose to read them? Um, and really finding out. What is the root cause of you know of certain things that I do? I say it's interesting because I like to learn and it's fun. And I would like to thank my lecturer, Ms. Amita, for introducing us to you know new things always and scary, yes, scary, yes, but valuable, of course, without a doubt. You know what? I need time to process everything because it's a lot. I'm gonna lie. Um, because now you're much aware. I'm much aware about a lot of things and uncomfortable. Yes, I do feel uncomfortable, and that's good. That means I'm learning something, and it's only gonna make me grow. So yeah, I'm gonna take some time and process this. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I enjoyed the class. I enjoyed doing this. It's nice. I'll catch you around.